so that when the particles get in there. <laughs> Exfoliate. <laughs> that that is not an option. Not if you want to have the smoothest I, I know. texture. I know. I know. I know. Y'all not. I made for that. Inch. Don't mess around. You have to go see Doc. Just. Just a quick FYI. It may sound like it's a bit of overkill, but your skin is going to thank you for it come spring. I am getting unready per se and I have taken my makeup off but today I want to discuss with you all while I do that some very vital and essential winter hygiene tips to keep you smooth hydrated and smelling good all winter long so I have already used honey skin aloe vera gel I typically use that to either take my makeup off or start with it for my skincare for the day and while at first I didn't see that it was doing anything, I mean, it's made a really great improvement. I've been using it for about two years. So we got body prescriptions, vitamin C, moisturizing facial scrub, which we're going to get into. It doesn't look like anything's in it, but it is. So one of the first things you want to do is really heavily moisturize your skin. For the winter, there are a few common problems you're going to have in terms of your body, which are going to visibly show themselves. Dry skin is one of them. One of the first things, dry, cracked skin, heels, feet, hands, palms, in between toes, in between fingers. You get my drift. I'm using body prescriptions, vitamin C, moisturizing, facial scrub. I mean, I'm trying to keep my mouth closed so that when the particles get in there. <laughs> prescriptions as well vitamin c brightening cream to start this up i will say this the scrub kind of drying but we're just putting the moisture back into the skin with this and the same thing that you're seeing me do here you want to do that head to toe with your body exfoliate that that is not an option not if you want to have the smoothest texture-free skin that you possibly can have exfoliate and then go back in with a moisturizer do that for your body as well to replenish what the exfoliation takes away what does exfoliation do you ask what are body scrubs and facial scrubs and anything else for there are layers of skin we have and sometimes we don't ever shed them except for using a scrub of some sort. I had to find this out. And so it takes off the top layer and it may not seem like it does much, but over time as you consistently exfoliate your skin and then you practice exfoliating and then putting the moisture back in with a rich emollient moisturizer, not just any type of moisturizer. Dermatologist tested. Preferably start with something for sensitive skin. Even if you don't have sensitive skin, better safe than sorry. Keep it up consistently. What that's going to do for you, essentially, is going to smooth out your skin with the exfoliation. And then your follow-up with a moisturizer right after is going to keep the hydration in. Smooth and hydrated skin at the same time for the winter that's better something else i need to get into for the winter and i don't believe i hear too much of it but this is important too don't just take my word for it speak to doc about it too a dermatologist just sharing my experience 
sunscreen is important for winter too. Not just when you go out there and, and you know, during the summertime and you want to have fun in the sun. It's not just for that. Sunscreen in the winter too. Now, I'm talking to myself as I speak and share this with you all. I still feel scrub particles from this facial scrub. And just in case you're wondering about this Body Prescriptions facial scrub, it doesn't have the texture of Tree Hut. I know I keep comparing it, but that's like one of the best comparisons I've had thus far. It looks like it wouldn't fall apart and, fl and become flaky once it hits your skin, but it does. So it's not Tree Hut. Tree Hut does not do that. They have facial scrubs too. I need to recommend to you all some moisturizers for you. So hydration is a really great thing. I want to give you some examples and some products that represent these examples. Shower butters. That used to not be a thing a couple of years back. Dove has a pre-cleanse shower butter. I mean, you use this first before it's matching cleanser. They have more than one pre-cleanse shower butter within their Body Love line. I still got a little bit of this left. It smells very upscale. That's besides the point. This product represents in shower moisturizers. You want to utilize these according to your budget for the winter, definitely. Because if you're a person that's on the go all the time, can we stop the sound? Okay. Does it have to be at this moment? I know. I I know. I know. I know. In shower moisturizers such as Dove's pre cleanse shower butter, using it before a body wash, or in shower lotions, Nivea, talking to you, in shower moisturizers, body conditioners, Olay, I'm looking at you. It's perfect for people who you either forget or you're on the go all the time to lotion up after you get out of the shower. Let's just face it, as fast paced as life has become for a lot of us, you can't forget, especially in the winter time, to get the elbows and in, in the kneecaps. You can't forget, okay? Because what we don't need is you looking around here ashy and you smell great. You're feeling great about yourself. You're walking out there with your head held high. Not arrogance. We, we talking about knowing who God made you to be, okay? And you're ashy. It's just, it's it's peeking out from, from amongst you, whether you have melanin like myself. Or, or not as much melanin. It's okay. You need some type of moisturization. In shower would be great. Pre-cleanse shower butters, in shower moisturizers, in shower lotions. That would be more suited for you all that are, you either forget a lot after you get out of the shower. You don't feel like messing with perfume oils, body oils. Perfect for you. Then for those who have the time, you're used to it. You prefer to moisturize directly after you get out the shower. Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is the OG. Now I used to use another OG, but I don't think they make their products anymore. Or maybe they're not as well known. Dax, D-A-X. That's the first brand I tried in a solid cocoa butter form of smell like a Hershey bar. The, the, the OG Hershey bar, you go smell real close to that with this or the Dax in the jar has never failed me. I would put this on from head to toe, especially during the winter time. And I used to have a particular routine going. <laughs> and head to toe. That means I got everywhere from here, shoulders, elbows, kneecaps, everywhere else in between, moisturize. Now, not not the nether regions, not the lady parts. That's, that's the only area that just does not belong. Cause it's not made for that. Don't mess around, you have to go see Doc. Just, just a quick FYI. Cause I love y'all and I don't want you sitting up here in the winter time going to see Doc because you, no, no, no. Everywhere else but that. Everywhere else but your nether regions. But cocoa butter is more like a universal scent. I say that on the premise of if it'll work for us ladies, and I've used this to hold in and lock in my scent right out of the shower, right out the bathtub. Any scent I've used, gourmandish or floral. Floral to show really nice. I'd like to think this will work for the men too. 
if you got time, use Palmer's. You're going to have a little glisten and glow with it, so just be careful. Go easy on some places, go heavy on others. Then we have, if you still have time, but you maybe you have dry skin, got to go speak to Doc. These are only my suggestion and experience. Nivea is an OG in the area of benefit-based skincare, benefit-based body care. They're an OG. Pick this up at a department store. Nivea, intensive moisturizing. Keyword intensive moisture. If you your skin is dry or maybe combination, meaning it changes with the seasons, get intensive moisturization. This is a body cream. It applies more like, I mean, it's, they call it a body cream, but just, just look at that. It's like a lotion, a lotion. So it's more like light, airy, and whipped to perfection. And this is fragrance-free. So it's lightly fragrance, but it's very mild in fragrance. Meaning men, they have Nivea for men. If they don't make this for the men, you could still grab this jar. Looks good on your shelf. I'm just saying. Sometimes people have aesthetics. <laughs> It should pay off and moisturize your skin really, really well. And you're going to have a healthy glow. I couldn't help but to get some of that product on me because I started squeezing out the jar when I was trying to close it back. EOS Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion. Rich and emollient. That, that's, that's what I'm picking up so far. Lips. I'm using Butter Gloss from NYX. A universal tip for the women and the men. Burt's Bees Chapstick lip balms scented lip balms for the women plain and mild for the men because i know men are just they'll they'll get to a point where it's like no that's important we look at that okay plain lip balms they have them out there there are a lot of gift sets especially now that they have out there i mean you get get the whole set to get them started scented for us ladies non-scented for the men lip balms lip scrubs help though that that's a that that's a great foundation. Lip scrub first. Take off the dead layer, just as you would on your face or your skin or anywhere else on your body. A moisturizing lip balm to pack a punch of moisture back into your lips. And then fragrances. Anything alcohol free is good. So perfume oils. I'm still going to recommend Sweet Essentials. Not sponsored, just because it's going to last longer. One thing I have found over the years of me developing my winter hygiene routine and so forth, aside from moisturization, not only will your scented moisturizers, cocoa butter, lotions get locked and loaded into the skin, and that scent's going to last longer, so will fragrances. This is the time to utilize body oils, perfume oils, oil-based lotions, oil-based body washes. Moisturize, moisturize. It may sound like it's a bit of overkill, but your skin is going to thank you for it come spring. There's plenty of affordable brands. I, I would venture to start on the ground floor. Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar. Even some of the department stores, especially, they have a lot of higher end products for a fraction of the price, if that, sometimes lower for a steal. That, ladies and gentlemen, those are my winter hygiene tips for every winter. <laughs> I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all next time. I want to call it a night now. Love you.